The film begins with beautiful shots of the Mediterranean Sea, all of this ruined by the incessant and empty chatter of a woman towards her husband. Her name is Rafaela and the only thing that comes out of her mouth is complaints about how much she would rather be in the city shopping and not there on a hot beach. Her husband Pavon is a man of adventure and he thought it would be a good idea to bring his wife on a sailing trip through the Mediterranean Sea, something that he is regretting right now. Later on, on the boat, Rafaela doesn't stop talking. Of all the things he would rather be doing with his friends instead of being there, Pavon, who already seems to be used to her chatter, tries to enjoy the trip a little. This is where we meet Gennaro, the assistant on board, who cannot believe such a despicable woman. Is so pretty and for a moment she can't help but show her annoyance when she mishears him because he talks about everyone present. The rest of the assistants just ignore her, but Gennaro is a proud man and he has never allowed anyone to humiliate him in his life and he can't bearing that this woman has done it multiple times in just a few minutes later, while Rafaela and the other guests are sunbathing draws the attention of all the assistants, including Gennaro, who cannot help but spy on losses. During lunch. Rafaela humiliates Gennaro again, who he brought him coffee this morning and not a freshly made one touching the last nerves of the young man who can no longer stand this rich and despicable woman, so he goes to the captain to complain about the mistreatment, but he tells him to shut up and keep his comments to himself. The pay is too good, and he needs it if he wants to keep the boat. So they must put up with the rich, regardless of their demands that afternoon, when the service finally ends. Gennaro takes some time to distract himself with his guitar, without knowing that below deck Rafaela is listening to everything. And he does not stop criticizing her talent the next morning, after criticizing the food and blaming Gennaro who has nothing to do with the kitchen work. Rafaela goes to the coast and buys a very expensive fish. So she orders the captain to cook it well or he will deduct his cost from the payment after this before the meal he orders the assistants to change since during yesterday's dinner several of them stank while they were serving him the food after everything they have had to endure the captain he has found something that may help them relax and plans to smoke it with Gennaro who has also had a hard time serving the rich. However, Nero considers himself an honorable man and denies his proposal, telling him that doing so could bring them more problems the next morning. Rafaela leaves. She falls asleep and when she wakes up she finds out that her husband has gone without her to explore the Denji Caves, a famous place in the area. She is clearly upset. She orders the captain to prepare the other motorboat since she plans to join her husband. He tells her. It's already late and the current is coming towards them which could ruin the motor, but she doesn't listen as expected Gennaro is the man in charge of taking her and regardless of the valid reasons he gives her for not making the trip she ignores him and he orders him to continue after a while going against the current, the engine finally overheats and stops working, leaving them stranded in the middle of the ocean regardless of Gennaro's attempts, the engine does not start while Rafaela is only interested in the fact that she is getting lost. The tour of the caves and his bath with Mediterranean salts as Gennaro keeps the bad news to himself Rafaela only talks about her incompetence in not being able to start the engine and causing her to lose her entire day trapped on a raft with him when the night Gennaro finally arrives. All he can think about is throwing Rafaela overboard but we quickly realize that they are just bad thoughts that cross his stressed mind. The next morning, in a stroke of luck, Gennaro manages to start the engine. The only problem is that the current has taken them so far off course that they have no idea where they are located. So they must choose at random where to go after getting even further off course and having consumed all the gasoline now they are in a much worse situation than before, but everything it changes in an instant when Rafaela spots the boat in the distance, they just have to signal it in some way before it gets too far away with the wind against them. It is impossible for the boat to hear their screams so their hope quickly fades as well. That the boat in the distance two days later Rafaela finally spots land so Gennaro begins to row as fast as he can, managing to reach the island in one piece although the raft broke on the rocks upon arrival after saving himself from dying and Rafaela regains her unpleasant attitude and orders Gennaro to find the nearest hotel and bring help. Although they quickly realize that there is no civilization nearby, and they are on a desert island, so they are the only ones there upon hearing the bad news. Rafaela cannot help but release all her anger and despair on Gennaro who is already fed up and has declared war on her. Therefore, 
she will have to get out of that situation alone since he will not help her anymore a few hours later after exploring enough. Gennaro finds a cabin made by someone who was trapped there years ago, which gives them a place to take refuge from the sun on the other hand Rafaela has cuts on her feet, when trying to catch fish on the shore of the CIF later she sees how Gennaro catches a lobster with his hands, and is willing to eat it alone. So she follows him to his house, and reproaches him that while she is dying of hunger. And thirst, he is indulging in a delicacy alone in his personal paradise since his guilt techniques do not work on Gennaro now he has decided to offer them money for a share of the lobster, however in that situation the money is worth nothing to Gennaro who, regardless of the figure, only laughs at her and confronts her about the rules of his current situation, he can hunt and knows where the fresh water is. So she must earn her food by serving as her maid, and the first task is to wash her clothes. After washing her clothes, Gennaro pays her with a small sardine so small that it is only enough for two bites when night comes, Gennaro goes home and when Raffaella tries to get in. He closes the door and lets her sleep outside in the cold the next morning. Raffaella is still very hungry and tries to bribe Gennaro with offers of money when she returns to civilization, but the man knows that it may take years. Trapped on that island, and what she needs now is a maid, not money, so if Rafaela wants to eat, she will have to work for her food after a strong argument and insults on both sides they have finally reached an agreement where she will take care of the tasks, and Gennaro from fishing. However this does not change the fact that Gennaro takes advantage of every opportunity to humiliate Rafaela and make her go through an ordeal for every bite of food she receives. The situation worsens a few days later, when Gennaro reminds Raffaella of the day she was tanning in the nude. She notices Gennaro's intentions. So she runs away as fast as she can, however, the protagonist catches up with her a few seconds later and hits her several times and then tries to abuse her, although he stops a few seconds before achieving his goal. With great sadness and pain for what she has just experienced, Raffaella tries to get away from Gennaro as much as she can, but that is not so easy since she needs her skills to eat and drink since alone, she would die of hunger a few days later Gennaro apologizes. For what happened and Raphael abandons his superior position and stops insulting him every minute, leading to a new type of relationship between our survivors, one that is more carnal and guided by instincts. Now both spend every night together and have relations in every place on the island letting herself be lost in passion, so the days go by and the new couple has managed to have a piece of their own paradise where they can enjoy life at ease one morning while fishing Raffaella can see a boat in the distance for a moment she thinks about ask for help but then he hides and runs in search of Gennaro to tell him that he loves him deeply and that this life is everything and more than he ever wanted. Therefore, the couple decides to pass on this opportunity and give themselves completely to the life they have created together. These last weeks after making love again and again for days and days they notice that the ship has returned only this time it is much closer and now it would be very easy to get his attention Raffaella, who is completely in love with Gennaro tells him to hide, however, he knows deep down that she only loves him because of the situation he is in. If it is really love, he must choose it in the real world. When he returns to his life of luxury, Gennaro runs to the beach and turns on a signal of smoke, making the ship see them and save them from La Isla when they return safe and sound. The first to receive Gennaro is his wife, who had not lost hope for even a second that he could survive before leaving. Pavon gives him an envelope. To Gennaro's wife, who is overjoyed at having recovered her husband. He also informs her that his five children are full of emotion knowing that their father is still alive. In the envelope, there is a check for 1 million euros, Gennaro feeling extremely offended, he tries to get to the car, but after a while he ends up in a jewelry store where he spends the million euros on a ring. After this, he calls Raffaella to tell her that although she did not have the courage to tell her husband the truth, he still he is in love with her, and if she wants to escape with him then he will give her one last chance. It turns out that he has spoken with a friend and he has agreed to take them back to the island. The boat leaves in half an hour, and that is the time that Raffaella has to take a decision just when she hangs up the phone Raffaella receives a rose from a child and on its stem is a huge ring worth a million euros, while Gennaro waits for his beloved on the shore of the pier the child with whom she sent the rose returns to give her something. A letter from Raffaella where she tells him that although she loves him deeply, this is their farewell. 
Gennaro, who cannot believe what he is reading, runs towards the Eli port with all his strength, however, he does not arrive in time. Raffaella and her husband have taken off and with that has broken Gennaro's heart into a thousand pieces, and that is how this movie ends. Thank you for watching.